guys and welcome back to my channel so in today's video it's none other than another haul <laughs> because what else do i really do on this channel anyways i decided to go ahead and um <laughs> show you guys everything i bought it's mostly planner supplies but i'm gonna go ahead and start with something that i got from bath and body works because i needed to get some more lotions so all i got was like these four items normally i go there's like a bath and body works like maybe 10 minutes away from me but you know i don't really know if they're open and i don't really feel like driving <laughs> so i don't feel like driving many places so these were the scents that i ended up getting so i got the sun ripened raspberry cotton blossom french lavender and honey fiji <clears throat> and fiji sunshine and guava these are all new scents to me so i actually want to kind of <laughs> go ahead and open them and you know try some of these scents with you all right all right so i have all of them open so i, I think i've had this scent before it's just been so long and i know at least i think i know that over the years bath and body works have kind of changed their formulas and scents on some of their older scents so i'm gonna smell this one first this is the sun ripened raspberry does this one smell different i mean it smells like raspberry but it smells almost like a raspberry soap and i don't think i remember it smelling like soap i mean it's a nice scent it's a nice like is it soft to me I feel like it's a fairly soft scent. It's not like super soft. I'm pretty sure if you wore a lot of it every day, it would probably mess with you. But it's actually a good scent. It's just a lot more soapier than I remember. Or maybe it's always been like that. I don't know. This one is cotton. Ooh! <laughs> this, one, this one is cotton blossom. It smells really fresh. I want to say it almost smells like cologne too like it just has like a really fresh scent I like that one personally I like this one okay that one's nice <laughs> next one I'm gonna try is this French lavender and honey this one had a lot of great reviews on it so it actually smells pretty good I wasn't expecting it to smell like fruity it smells like like a fruity perfume i don't know how to explain it it smells really nice though they're like really nice soft scents this one is probably my favorite <laughs> that one's probably my favorite so far and then also this is fiji sunshine guavatini so i'm gonna smell this one it smells like coconuts i mean <laughs> i'm not saying that i don't like it but it smells like coconut with a very, like a very soft, fruity undertone. It smells good to me, but I like fruity scents. I'm not really too big a fan of too many floral scents, which is what this one smells like the most. I like it because the floral in it is not very strong. It's like fruity and floral. I don't know how they managed to do that. But this one is absolutely my favorite. I'd probably say this one next since I'm kind of used to the scent anyway. This one, I actually do like the scent of that. And then this one because it's just like basic. It's a very basic scent. So that's in order of my favorites. Oh my gosh, let me smell this one again. <laughs> let me it smells like powder, like baby powder or something. <laughs> I oh, that, that was my favorite. So that's what I got from Bath and Body Works. Now, on to what you all probably came here for, which was the uh, planner supplies. So, one of my orders from, am I like screaming into the camera? <laughs> I feel like I'm screaming. Y'all know how I get about my Happy Mail now. But one of my orders from China actually arrived today and the other one, I guess, will be here shortly. Um, but yeah, I didn't expect for it to get here. I really was giving it to like August for it to get here. But yeah, so this is the Etsy shop that I bought from, um, 
it's called for you for you best oh my gosh they had some of the most adorable washi i've ever seen and um look <coughs> y'all know i'm gonna give you up close so i bought like i said i bought all of this from china this was back in may this was like i believe i made this purchase like may 30th 31st some it was like late may and we are like almost in the middle of july <laughs> so yeah the shipping took forever but when you guys see this stuff or at least when i look at it i i love it so here's one of the designs and you know i'm gonna roll them out you know i'm not gonna leave y'all hanging like that but yeah this is i didn't get a receipt <clears throat> So I don't know what the, I don't remember what the names of them was, but this is like a really pretty like wave ocean design with like, what is that? Like stars? Like some kind of celestial wave. I think that's what it was called. But you have that one. Oh, I wanted this one. I couldn't wait for this one to get here. This one is like this travel. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's got like this travel like city scape. For some reason, it kind of makes me think of, like, Italy. <laughs> Italy or Greece. Or some, I mean, I'm not saying I've ever been to those places, but... <laughs> I don't know. It just puts me to mind of, like, like how colorful the buildings are. It makes me think of, like, Italy or Greece. Because I think Italy is the place that has the colorful buildings, right? I, I, I don't know. I don't travel. I want to travel, but I'm, I'm a chicken. Um... <laughs> Oh, I love this one. This one is just like um like window window designs, like different window panes. And I like this to be able to like tear off one and just kind of like decorate different spreads with. Not necessarily to just use it as washi, but just like like how you would use petal washi, those peel and stick washi rolls. That's how I wanted to use this one. <clears throat> And oh yeah, and then we have the koi fish. Oh I could, oh I love this one. Do I have an upside down? I don't know. But this one has koi fish swimming like in this river and it's got some gold foiling on it. This stuff is just so pretty, y'all. China and Japan. I, I know they got stuff going on, but y'all, they stationery is off the chain, uh. I wanna travel to Japan just so I could go shopping in their stationery shops. <laughs> I'm not even lying. What was this one? Did I get hydrangeas? I don't know if I remember getting hydrangeas. But I mean, I ain't mad. Hydrangeas, like light blue hydrangeas, are actually one of my favorite flowers. But I don't remember getting this one, so I don't know if it's a freebie or not. I have to check. Because I definitely don't remember getting it. But it's so pretty. Oh, I love this one. This one's pretty. And then, oh, you have the cloud washi. Oh, I couldn't wait to get this one either. We'll have to see that one rolled out because it was really, really pretty. And this one, this one, um... It's a firefly design. Oh my gosh, let me see. It's just so cute. Like all the fireflies at the top and like this little night scene. I can't wait to roll these out and see them, but you know I do all of that at the end. So we have that one. And lastly, this was um this was a clearance roll. And it was the last one, too. So I went ahead and put this one in. And look, it's just like a little film strip. Like a little photography or movie film strip. Oh, isn't that cute? This was a dollar. I think this was like one or two dollars or something like that. I love that. I love that little shop. <laughs> I will be back. I will be back. I'd buy from them again, even with the, like, two month wait because I just I really love the designs in in their shop I oh I love that <laughs> next on the list let me check my time 
Okay. Next one was, what should we do next? What do we have next? Let's go ahead and do the next Etsy shop. Okay, so I made another purchase from the Stationery Life. I just love those little cat die cuts that I had. So I went and got some more die cuts and a, um, a washi thing from them. I don't know. Um, between Since the time that I last bought from their shop, uh, they came out with, oh, how cute. Okay, <laughs> let's go ahead and get into this. Because I got so many die cuts from her shop. <laughs> so we'll start with the washi. So this is like a mountain, a mountainous, like a wintry mountain top, like Mount Everest design. It was so cute. The way they layered it, like layered the strips on top of each other, made it seem like a whole scene. So I kind of wanted to try that. But it's actually kind of small. It's definitely way smaller than like, or maybe it's just like the roll. <laughs> oh no, because you can see right there. So you do get a lot. You get like that much washi. Okay. That's pretty nice. I like. And then I got some of the die cuts. So I have the receipt here. So this one is the Shiba in in you Shiba in you oh my gosh this little character was so cute Shiba in you so we'll see some of the designs oh look how cute so freaking adorable it's got like a little chickadee on its head it's holding its tail here. Oh, I thought I almost thought it was a stomach or something like it was pregnant <laughs> but it's holding its tail like climbing or running away I don't know reading a book and you get like several of each design like one is shot I, yeah it was the same one. Oh, oh my gosh <laughs> I love like these little kawaii chibi characters man they're just so cute and they're so fun to like decorate your planners with they just adorable. <laughs> okay, this one's a new favorite. I like, but the, I, all of them are just so cute. Oh, that one is so pretty. So if you have a Shiba in you, you know, these are really cute stickers <laughs> to use for your dog. You know, if you just, you want like a little cartoon character of your Shiba in you pup. There you go. Oh, and he having a cup of tea. Let's check him out. He know how to relax. Aww. Okay, so that that's basically it. And then they repeat. And you get like a good amount. You get a good amount of stickers. Like I'm still using those. Um, that cat collection that I have. And I've used them so much. I like to use them in my um my passion planner daily the most since like in that blank space I have um you know you can do anything you want so I tend to like do a lot of decorating there so this is butterfly garden die cut stickers I guess you open this one from the side I'm, I'm sorry but this shop has some of the best die cuts that cut that um send you a lot can i not get the rest of oh they were coming out the other side but i just love this shop's like die cut stickers and you also get a lot look at these butterflies oh those are so cute Oh, I love, oh, that one is, these are cute. Do I have them upside down or something? <laughs> turn it around, turn around. <laughs> but look at those. 
Look at these colors. You have a dragonfly. I love these. Ooh, I love butterflies so. If there's any insect I love, <laughs> it's butterflies. <laughs> Ooh, what's this one? Ooh, that's cute. Ooh. I'm finding that I really like um using die cut stickers more to like decorate my planner spreads as opposed to I mean, don't get me wrong, I do like happy planner stuff. But <laughs> happy planner, I wish happy planner would release sticker books that are like either completely deco and completely functional like I hate buying like <laughs> spending all that money buying a sticker book and I only really use half of it I don't I don't really use that many functional stickers in my planner like if anything I use my own like quarter boxes and half boxes but I don't even really use those I, I don't care <laughs> I just like to decorate it so these are these are the hot air balloons. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I even got hot air balloons. Like, what am I going to do with a hot air balloon? I'm not getting in one. I'm not thinking about getting in one. But these are so pretty. <laughs> these, these are so pretty. Look at these. Look at these. And you could just easily, like, sprinkle them around your spread. They make them look so so cute. I love all these designs. Oh, that one's so nice. Looks like a beach balloon. Ooh, that one's cute too. Look like a light bulb. Like at first glance, it looks like a light bulb. And I guess that's basically what hot air balloons are. Light bulbs in the sky. <laughs> Wait, what was this one? Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that pink one is cute. All the blue ones. And then they just repeat. So, mm-hmm. I got so many more die cuts. <laughs> if you guys know of, like, good stores like some more stores that sell like really cool packs of die cuts like let me know leave them in the comment section because you know i'm probably gonna go check them out <laughs> what is this one this one oh this one is the cat one right this one or maybe it's weather i think this is the weather one yeah but it has cats in it too <laughs> Yeah, so you get the sun, you get some pink rain clouds, some blue rain clouds, some rainbows. Yeah, what is this one? Oh, it's a different rainbow with a rain cloud. You get some snowflakes. Thunder, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I woke up this morning, <laughs> I, w I, I didn't even wake up this morning, it was probably because I kept sleeping through my alarm, <laughs> Lord, it was lightning and thundering so hard, I felt it in my dreams, I literally had like an inception moment, <laughs> it's like I was in my dream and all of a sudden I just felt everything shaking. <laughs> I'm just like, what? What is going on? The lightning, the lightning was so bright. That's actually what woke me up. It was storming so terribly. It was storming so terribly. I couldn't even get up and like clock in to work. I just, I, I got it. I got up and I took my laptop in the bathroom. Because for some reason I feel safe like in the bathroom when the weather is bad. And I went in the bathroom and tried to start working and then like the lights went out twice. It, oh, that was, <laughs> that was an adventure. <laughs> oh, the universe when it's your own personal alarm clock. But anyways, here's a cute cat <laughs> sitting under an umbrella in the rain. That's cute. That's adorable. You have Cloudy. Rainy, 
Wendy, these are so cute. Oh, little kawaii face rain cloud. That's cute. Sunny. Some more rain, like pastel rain clouds. Another cat who's kind of like posing on the umbrella. <sighs> more cloudy. Some raindrops here. More rain clouds. Yeah, I'm going to need all of those. Just overcast. I need those too cloud clears oh they they really got you covered in this pack <laughs> they you know of course i don't you know they don't have like extreme weather like hurricanes and tornadoes and tsunamis and stuff they didn't, but for your basic weather yeah when they got you covered they got you covered in this pack so that one's really really nice and lastly, we have this space one, which is, yeah, planets, planets, space. And we're going to dive right in and see what these are talking about. Ooh. And here we go. And this like some random planets. Well, not random planets, but, you know, watercolor planets. I really like these. Ooh, that one's pretty. It's like Saturn. Or Planet Asteroid. <laughs> I need to make some more Sims videos. I haven't forgot. I just, I just was sick this past week. <laughs> Ooh, trying to get life together. But, um, oh, this, I guess that's supposed to be the moon. Like, Saturn and Earth, it <laughs> kind of looks like more like Saturn rings, some more celestial watercolor prints. And um, ooh, check that out. Yeah, so that's some more of like their die cut stickers, which I know I'm going to have fun with because I love using these things. There's just so many ways to like use them, you know? But uh gonna go ahead and wrap that pack up. And then we're gonna get into the rest of uh everything else I purchased. <laughs> okay. I have no idea <laughs> where the camera cut off, but uh, apparently I forgot to delete the footage off the camera so that it would have space. But anyways, this is my um passion planner daily that I have currently. So this one, why am I being so aggressive? This one, this planner had an update for the newer versions. And if I'm not mistaken, the black one that is on the site is still the same as this uh, cover. The, the, these three colors, these three colors, plus they have a gold one, have a new update on the layout. One of the biggest changes that, um, I'll just go ahead and go through. But uh, they still have like the same opening page. So you can write down who you're grateful for. Your little title page right here. That's the same layout. And then you still get the how you will benefit from Passion Planner Daily. And the little letter from Angelia. But y'all, it goes straight into the Passion Planner Daily works. In the original one... You got this really cute story of Harto and like his motivation and how he used to passion plan a daily. Like I know it's corny, you know, people are probably like, well I can use these pages for something else. But I, I gotta admit, I like this story. I've, I've gone back and reread it a couple times. <laughs> you know, Harto, he the homie. And I just, I'm sad that this player doesn't have that. That means that people who didn't get a chance to buy the first one will never be able to enjoy Harto and his journey and how he became the heart he is today. <laughs> it was just, it's a really cute, adorable story. And um, unfortunately, it's no longer a part of the Passion Planner Daily. So you don't get that. You skip straight to the Passion Planner Daily work system. 
where they show you how you can use your planner to help you and then you also get the free space inspiration where you can like jot down your ideas you can use some of their ideas or your self-care ideas or however you want to do this and your um dated page so um in this planner it'll also flip to the passion roadmap which i'm not going to flip to because i've already obviously i've already written in mine but it's laid out the same way you can sit there and jot down your passion roadmap get your monthly game changer goal all together and then you skip right over to like your year at a glance where you can fill that in according to like your year you can either use it just for like the three months you'll have the planner or even for like the whole year this is like a great way for you to pre-plan if you wanted to use that and then yeah so in this planner it would just skip right over into the daily sections but in this one you actually get like a monthly like an undated monthly layout you get four of them i guess to account for any of like ac excess days or whatever but you can go ahead and you can fill it out how however you like you can make it monday start sunday start you just put the month you're working in you have your month focus people to see places to go things to learn you know or you can change those categories to whatever you you would use them for um it's pretty much the same structure as their like original uh, passion planner weekly planners it's pretty much the same structure um, you get your personal projects your work projects and you can separate them to top priority and just regular priority and then you have your space of infinite possibilities where you can like do your mind map or you know write your goals down or draw or doodle or I don't know what you do <laughs> but you get that and then for the same month on the back of that is where they've actually put these self check-in sections so they have these self check-ins also in the original dailies but they're like dispersed by every 30 days so in this plan you get them all up front um with each month whereas in this one you would have to like use it 30 days then you get the self check-in use another 30 days then you get another self check-in but the check-in itself is pretty much laid out the same way you know you have a what's on your mind uh, memorable moments accomplishments and proud of how I've grown biggest lessons and then you have the space to like create your month game changer goal for like the next month uh, where this is more like for the next 30 days so there's the difference there and then in this plan it just goes like right into the next undated month you get all your months right up front along with all the self check-ins so that's the third month and this is the fourth month and then you also get this since you started this planner like update which you would also get in this planner um but you would get it at the very back this one you get it up front along with all your monthly calendars and then you go into your undated dailies and um i'm pretty sure they're made up the same way today's focus yep you get your game changer goal it's still 5 to 11 for the hours and you get half hours you know um game changer goal personal work section free space to grow self maintenance best thing that happened today i learned today in one word and your mood and then you get your space of infinite possibilities so that is how oh and also you get dot grid pages <laughs> at the very back i didn't realize this one had dot grid pages till like i don't know what i was doing but i was like oh that's why i had like the little paper clip back here to like remind myself like hey you know there are <laughs> there are notes pages back here <laughs> but yeah you also get notes pages at the back of the new planner they did not take that out the only thing that's missing is hard <laughs> The only thing that's missing is Hardo, but uh, yeah, this is how I keep up with my passion plan daily. This is actually a um a pad folio that I got from the Simply Gilded sub box. This was from with with Aloha, the recent one for June. She's supposed to be coming out with more pad folio. Well, I'm not saying she's supposed to, but she's considering bringing more pad folios to the shop. Y'all, I'm gonna get some more. <laughs> this pad folio this the the pad 
the undated daily in this pad folio is just perfect this is like the perfect on the go system and it's the perfect system in line with like my catch-all planner because literally i have everything all together because like usually i know i'm supposed to be doing a haul but you know we can wait a few minutes but usually like when i take my planners with me i'm always taking like something extra like i probably have some envelopes or i probably have like some receipts or something that i need to keep on me so it's kind of like everywhere and I like the Happy Planner covers, but they can be a little bulky, like trying to take it everywhere. And sometimes I don't need all that space. I really, really love this pad folio because it's like, it's pretty much the same as a cover. But first of all, it's freaking adorable. And second of all, it's not as bulky and it still has like enough compartments for me to like slip important envelopes in there and conceal it and whatever else it has like a nice pin loop and i've also added like the the notepad that came with it i have no idea what i'm gonna do with it yet but i just oh, i love this oh, yes i do and i will continue to use it with the passion planner dailies like it just just wonderful but speaking of simply gilded <laughs> y'all you know it couldn't be a haul without simply gilded <laughs> you know it couldn't be a real haul on chaotic canvas and company if i didn't get some simply gilded stuff let me make sure i'm in frame mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. this is the stuff you come here for this is what you go get all your snacks for this is what you sit down and watch my channel for because all i do is buy simply gilded stuff it's a shame and let me tell you something else i have more on the way <laughs> i do i have more on the way and i i love buying simply gilded stuff oh look i'm just opening this i need to wait i need to hold up hold up one moment hold on actually hold on <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get into everything that I got from Simply Gilded. Uh, of course, I have my little receipts. So I'll go ahead and start with the sticker books. So I decided that I actually wanted to go ahead and get some more of these sticker books. I, ever since I started my shop, um, and this probably has a lot to do with why I decided to get these two sizes but um I have like some of my stickers that I've been using from my shop you know this shameless plug-in is about to happen right here but like my shop stickers I find that they fit like so perfectly in here they're just so cute and I like being able to like go in and like get some as I need them I can just slide them right on out and use them and I like having that so I figured like with all the designs that I'm doing because I have like more designs that I have to get around to like coloring and all that stuff but I do want to keep them like in a nice place where I can like get to them easily and don't have to like rummage around and you know try to do stuff with it um but also I have this one that I got from a sub box oh this was from the april sub box mm -hmm. my f <laughs> my other favorite sub box but i also ended up getting a large sticker book from this recent release <clears throat> um the mermaid cove is the one i'm talking about but i got another large sticker book because i found that this is the perfect way to keep up with all of my like journaling supplies so far <laughs> So far, I only have like enough journaling supplies that I can actually like use my sticker album in here for. So a lot of this is the Simply Gilded sticker sheets and like all the journaling cards, all the freebies. But it's also like die cuts and stuff that I got from other shops, more journaling cards, all the seals. And it's just like a really, really great place to like hold all my, like I put all my die cuts in a little cellophane, 
cellophane bag that I have all my leftovers and it's just like a really really great way to like keep everything organized so that when I want to sit down and like create a journal for instance like I can just pretty much go in here and have all of my little smaller paper crafts and all that stuff all of that organized in here so I say all that to say I'm loving the sticker books. <laughs> I'm loving the sticker books from Simply Gilded. So I ended up getting two with this order. This one is the Cherry Red. This was a part of the July 4th release that was also in combination with the um, uh, tie-dye release. I, I know this. I know all of this too well. That is a shame. Don't judge me. <laughs> but <laughs> this is the Cherry Red. Oh, it is so pretty. I love the scallop designs and it has like the nice soft interior. It looked pink for a second. I would have been like, that's a nice touch, but I think it's white. And you get like the same amount of stickers, same size. It's just like a nice, a really, really nice red. I'm not gonna take this sticker off yet. I don't, I don't know why. So I have that one. And then this was one that just released with the micro release. It is the watermelon twist and it's designed to kind of mimic a watermelon. So like the outside is the rind with the black hardware that's supposed to imitate the seeds. And then on the, oh my gosh, this pink is a lot prettier in person, but it's like a nice like sorbet pink and it's supposed to like, you know, represent the inside of a watermelon. And I just thought this was really, really pretty. Like if I wanted to get any sticker book, it's this because I really liked the creativity behind that and it's a nice place for me to keep my stickers so for now these are all the sticker books that I have these these two are from sub boxes and these two are ones from her shop and now <laughs> and now we can go ahead and get into what I actually ordered I mean, what else, not what I actually ordered, but what else I ordered in terms of washi. I still haven't gotten that tie-dye card, but you know what, that's okay. That's all right, I'm not gonna whine. <laughs> but I end up getting, going ahead and doing the micro release because there were some things that I didn't want to miss out on and y'all, this was one of them. <laughs> <laughs> this was one of them. I, I gotta admit, I didn't expect for um, this to make a comeback, but I saw it hit the shop. It was the first thing I saw, and I was like, okay, gotta get it. I, I wanted to get another one because I've actually been using the pink a lot, and I just wanted to have a backup. I only got one more. Um, I also did the same for the purple neon. Oh my gosh, look at this. I just love the neons. I wanted to get like backup of the neons because y'all, I, I just, <laughs> I just, I don't feel in my heart that I could go anywhere else and find washi that can be this basic, but at the same time be so vibrant and so bold. Like I think, I think trying to find neons like this, you know, with another brand will be be hard <laughs> let's, let's just be honest because most people don't really like bright colors they don't like bright bold colors they don't like a lot of colors everything is like really muted and um i don't i'm not gonna say i don't like it but i definitely you know i definitely love bright colors so with that i also got this cute animal well it's called F fabulous fruits i think but it's supposed to mimic like the fruits from Animal Crossing, which I do not play because I don't have a Switch. <laughs> I want to get a Switch because it, it looks like fun. Actually, I didn't grow up on Animal Crossing, but I saw that um, Harvest Moon is, well, not Harvest Moon, a story of seasons. But, you know, they worked with Harvest Moon back when they were like, uh, you know, <laughs> co-mingling. But, um... Story of Seasons is supposed to be recreating uh, Friends of Mineral Town, which was my absolute favorite Harvest Moon game ever. I played, I played that game night and day, and it's supposed to be coming out on the Switch. 
<laughs> God, I need a switch, but apparently they're like out of stock. But anyways, <laughs> I also got this um holographic. I just went ahead and got this because I feel like I have so many, so many like different washies that have hollow foil in it. It would just make sense to have this, you know, around to like kind of help accent those spreads. And then I also got this cute butterfly washi. I got the bundle. So it's the yellow, the one with the yellow background and the light gold foiling. And then this one with the blue background and the silver foiling. This one actually sold out. So I'm glad I got it when I did. <laughs> and I didn't even show you guys the freebies. But I mean, I'm pretty sure, you know, I've shown these before given how many times I've purchased. <laughs> so it's just this neon card. I've had this one before. Um, along with like the patriotic silver foiled icons in the half box. I mean, full box. And then this nice green bow with gold foiling on it. So with that being said, it is time. Honestly, depending on whether or not I get like the rest of my orders here, the next clip might be unraveling some more stuff. But as of now, I'm going to go in and uh, swatch all of my washies. I won't be swatching this one, obviously, because... I already have it in my swatch book. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and get into that and I'll see you in the next clip. <laughs> Bye. Hi guys and welcome back to the next clip. <laughs> another clip, another unboxing of Simply Gilded stuff. So I managed to get the rest of my uh, Simply, Gild <laughs> Simply Gilded um, orders delivered. And I just picked them up today, so we're going to go ahead and dive into it. I guess starting with the one that came first. <laughs> so, if this one, this was just like a secondary order that I had made. And if you hear that noise, it's thunder. Um, it, it was just raining outside. I don't know if it's going to like swirl around and come back, but we'll see. So, <laughs> this is one of the orders. Um, of course, I got another one of the um peace sign watercolor uh journaling cards and the high heeled freebie with a holographic pink bow so that is what this looks like of course i if you've watched any of my other haul videos you've seen that i've gotten all of these before and you know the little pink the little bows are just random in color but yeah those are cute so i have those and this is the mystery monday y'all what what went live i think it was when the micro monday went live when the purple neon came out um mystery monday went live at the same time and there was like a couple of things that i saw at the very last minute and um when i went back to try to do like a second order it all sold out but you know what i i look at it as maybe it was a good thing because i really don't need to keep spending that much money on washi i really don't i didn't even need to get this but I managed to get this for like, like this order for $3 because I had done so much shopping on Simply Gilded. I racked up a lot of rewards. So I was able to use like a $10 coupon um, to go ahead and take something off. <clears throat> so I ended up paying like $3 plus the shipping. So I went ahead and got these and I wanted to get these because I didn't know if this one was going to sell out. I've really been loving this one. Let me see. This one is inverted rose gold with white bows. I got this one in the grab box and I have been using it ever since. I tend to, like I'm, I find that when I come across a washi, <clears throat> like a washi design that I really, really like and I use a lot of, I go back and see if I can get like a second one as a backup. Um, I really, really love this one. Really love this one. And then this one, this cute little find is the Enchanted Forest Bows Heart Vine and Shooting Star Design. So you have the bow, the vine, the heart vine, shooting stars, and more bows. 
and it's just like a really pretty like I don't know it makes me like think of like a princess color scheme or something I just love like how the pinks and the periwinkles go with the rose gold I think that's so pretty and that they all really really go together so when it comes time to do the swatching I won't be doing this one since I've already done it um but I will be swatching these aren't these just so cute I love the five millimeters I like using them in my passion planner daily to like cover those headers and everything but yeah that's one order <clears throat> and then this is the order from mermaid cove that recent re recently released on friday so she had a micro release on monday and another release on friday i really don't like that i'm gonna be honest um i, I don't really care for like weekly releases i kind of wish she'd like release them like every other week because I, I don't know all I'm gonna say is she know what she doing <laughs> she knows how to market to the people <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say but um yeah this is my second order um now I have to say like with the mermaid release I wasn't oh look I got this one <laughs> I wasn't um I don't know how much I was really feeling a lot of the mermaid designs but I went ahead and got some anyway because I figured like maybe I'd like them more in person because I find that that is usually the case a lot of the time oh my gosh this is so pretty like this <laughs> exactly like this this is the um the one of the larger sticker books oh my gosh i assume it's like vegan leather this is the pacific pearl um with gold hardware from the mermaid dreams release i don't know why i called it mermaid cove oh my goodness this is so pretty i love the sheen of it so this is the larger sticker book um and as i showed i believe in a previous clip I use these sticker books to like keep the journaling cards so quite frankly I can show you exactly <laughs> just slide those little freebies right on in there and I use them to like hold all my journaling cards die cuts um, the sticker sheets that I get from Simply Gilded and all that stuff I keep them in the sticker books so I wanted to go ahead and get another one because the one I have from my April box is like halfway done but yeah and it has like the really nice scallop detail oh that's cute mm -hmm. i like that that feels really good in the hand <laughs> and then so what was i talking about mermaid dreams and this is um a new card um did that come with this Cause I didn't buy it. <laughs> I definitely didn't buy it. But I think these are new anyway. These are seashells with like gold foiling. And then this is like this really cute um like surfer beach kind of tropical vacation card. And it's got like little accents of silver foil in it. And it's got like the van, the palm trees, the umbrellas, and the suitcase in the sand. The surfers, the surfboards. This is actually really cute. Oh, I love this card. This one is nice. See, I can show you exactly how that works. You should just go ahead, find a slot, pop it in there. <laughs> Popping all these little freebies or whatever. I really don't know where that came from. I promise you. <laughs> Did I? Did I order that? Perforated washi, washi tape, washi tape, washi tape. <laughs> no, I didn't get that. So maybe it's a freebie, I don't know, because it is seashells, so if anybody else get their mermaid order, let me know. But um yeah, so let's just go ahead and hop into what I actually got. <laughs> so many surprises in this video. <laughs> so <clears throat> Starting off with, let's do, let's do the basic ones first. So starting off with this washi tape. This is the perforated 
the perforated washi in the coral color and it's got gold foiling on it so it's just like any other of her day of the week um washi tape washi rolls i really i've been liking to use them in my blog and social media planner um just like pop them off and then put them in my planner and like do all my checklist in that day so i got another roll of that for that purpose <laughs> So the, this size is a 10 millimeter size. So that's what that looks like. And then this is the five millimeter mini set of three called Mermaid Dreams. And it's got pink sand. This one is pink sand. This one is sea foam. And then the next one is sea fan sea foam and sea fan whatever that is and they all have like the crackle shatter holographic silver foil if you can see that so that's pretty right there <coughs> so i got this one i got the mermaid tails honestly i feel like this would have looked better if it was just like straight silver foil i don't know i don't think i really like the um the crackle foil i don't think i'm too keen on that one other than that the design is nice actually it is really cute i'll have to see it rolled out <laughs> i'll have to see it rolled out the more i look at it it is pretty um really pretty so this is the um mermaid tail i know it is yeah, Dreamy Mermaid Tail with Sparkle Silver Holographic Foil. So that's what that is. And a lot of these, of course, you know, sold out within like the first day. I'll say the first day. This one, I think it was this one, like I wasn't really too fond of. But I wanted to get it anyway because I just wanted to see it in person. But yeah, I didn't really go crazy with the mermaid release. I think it's because I've already done, like, personally, not even just simply gilded stuff. I've done so many mermaid beach related <laughs> spreads and themes, like, across all of my planners and my daily planner, my catch all planner, my self care planner, my fitness planner. I just, I have so many, like, mermaid themed spreads. I think personally, I'm just tired <laughs> of mermaid. <laughs> And I'm ready to go on to something more tropical and jungle-like. <laughs> so that's what this is. So I'm not going to say it's not pretty. I'm probably just tired of like seeing so many mermaid dreamy colors. And But this one, this one though. <laughs> I wanted this one. If I didn't get anything else, I was going to get this one in the sticker book. I really, really like this one. And this one is the... She's... she's <laughs> Y'all know I ain't good with words, man. She sells seashells. <laughs> that, that, that's the name of this one. And it's got the sparkle silver holographic foiling on it. And this one is a 15 millimeter size. So this one is so cute. I love that periwinkle color. It had another one like a sand color, but I wasn't really like, I wasn't really feeling that one too much. But this one, I, I really like that one. So, I want to say that's it. I want to say that's it. Hopefully, I get better at, like, <laughs> controlling myself when it comes to these releases. So that I can just, like, <sighs> I don't know, experiment with other shops. <laughs> I mean, there's so many, like, wonderful washi shops out there. So... With that in mind, I'm going to whoop out my trusty, dust, trusty, dusty, <laughs> handy dandy swatch book. Okay, we're taking it back to Blue's Clues. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch all of the remaining washies plus whatever I did in the previous week or whatever. <laughs> so you get to see it all combined, everything that I got and everything swatched out. I think maybe one day eventually I'm just going to do a flip through of my whole swatch book because it is it's filling up fast. Precisely the simply gilded section. Look look, look at this. It's, oh, crime shame. <laughs> but here we go.